What's up everyone? It's your boy NoranRad89 here, bringing you another video today. And for today's video, we are going to be talking about the Bond actors. I'm going to be ranking all six live action Bond actors that we've had from worst to best in my opinion. And of course, this is just my opinion, my list. I would love to hear from all of you which ones are your favorites that you enjoy the most. So let's dive into this video. So we've had six actors so far that have played James Bond. And you can kind of like any one of them, like you could kind of argue be your favorites. It doesn't really matter. It just kind of depends on the decade, which ones you got introduced to first and stuff like that, you know, and all that kind of stuff basically, or which ones made you fall in love with Bond first. That might be why your list is different from mine. But here we go. At the bottom of the barrel for me is going to be Pierce Brosnan. Pierce Brosnan for me, it's just this is the era of Bond films that is my least favorite besides GoldenEye. I think after that, Pierce Brosnan, his catalog really dips in quality. Tomorrow Never Dies, World Is Not Enough, and Die Another Day are just some of my least favorites in terms of the Bond films. And it's just, uh, Pierce Brosnan, to me, when I viewed him and watched him on screen, he doesn't seem like James Bond to me. I just don't feel it. And I feel like he's the one that doesn't get messed up as much. He's like kind of like the pretty boy. He's kind of like gets to the end and he's unscathed, like, I don't know. I just didn't feel him. Like I said, this is my least favorite era of the James Bond films, and that's why Pierce Brosnan's here at the bottom of the list. Next up, we have Roger Moore, and Roger Moore is one for me that's kind of kind of similar to Pierce Brosnan a little bit. I just don't view him as James Bond when I see him in the films. I think he does have some good films. Roger Moore does have some really strong Bond films. But I just don't view him as Bond. He's not threatening. He's not intimidating. And I really don't like his like catchy one-liners. You know what I mean? Like in terms of, I like the stuff around him. You know what I mean? He's got good villains sometimes, good gadgets, good and entertaining storylines. But I just don't like Roger Moore himself as Bond, in my opinion. Next up, we have George Lazenby. And I know this one is kind of hard to rank because he only did one Bond film. And it was in the middle of the Sean Connery era. He did On Her Majesty's Secret Service. But I think he's a pretty good Bond. He has like this swagger about him when he's playing James Bond. And I like it. And through his movie, even though it's a very different Bond movie, the story is completely different because you're following Bond as he falls in love with a woman and gets married. So it's, it's a lot different from any other Bond film that we've seen before. But I like George Lazenby's performance. I think he does really good. He's a good physical Bond. He kind of is like the early Daniel Craig style Bond. Very physical, rough fighting scenes, you know what I mean? But it just kind of sucks because I wish we would have got a couple more movies with him. He probably might have been a little bit higher up on the list. But as I said, he only did this one outing. But I still do enjoy him a bit better than Roger Moore and Pierce Brosnan. Now we're here at the top three, and before we get down to my top three, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. I'm also going to be coming up with a new video soon ranking all the Bond films, so stay tuned to the channel. So let's get into this. My number three is going to be Timothy Dalton. I think Timothy Dalton, even though he only did two films, he's a very rough, rugged Bond. He actually got some really good graphic strong bond films like his are pretty gory like actually compared to some of the others and violence and terms like that and i think timothy dalton's kind of similar to george lazenby in my opinion he has this swagger about him and when you watch him like just the way he is you know what i mean the way he tackles his situations and i think timothy dalton gets some good storylines where we get some more three-dimensional stuff about bond and the character because usually bond's kind of more one note doesn't really evolve as a character but in Timothy Dalton's Bond films you could kind of see how relationships affect him and how his friends are important to him and stuff like that so that's why I really did enjoy Timothy Dalton's run as James Bond. Now we're here at the runner up for me and that's going to be the most recent man Daniel Craig. Ugh, Daniel Craig was a slam dunk for sure. When I first saw Casino Royale I was like dang we're back. James Bond's back because, as I said, Pierce Brosnan, that was kind of my least favorite era, and he was right before this. And then when I saw Daniel Craig in Casino Royale, I was like, yep, Bond's back. I can't wait. And I love that, you know, Daniel Craig's definitely more of a physical Bond. Like I said, he's more like Dalton and Lazenby in that fashion. And he doesn't rely on gadgets a lot. It's more just that physical fighting, you know, his smarts, that kind of stuff. And I think Daniel Craig, he probably has one of the strongest catalogs in terms of Bond films like all five of his out of the five 
there's three of his that are in my top 10. So that's, that's what I mean. His catalog of Bond films is really strong and it's got a good storylines and stuff like that. You know, he's got some good Bond girls and like badass action sequences, really good directors behind his films. So Daniel Craig for me, like, yeah, he was, he was a really strong one. He fights with my top dog, but of course, you know, like who my top dog is going to be, but it was, it was so close. It was really close. I had to really think about it. And my number one might be more nostalgia reasons and stuff like that. But Daniel Craig is a really good James Bond. As I said, he's one of the best. Now we're here at my top dog. The number one is going to be Sean Connery. And this one might be a little bit of nostalgia because he is the very first James Bond I ever got introduced to. And I was so hooked on Sean Connery as Bond when I saw Roger Moore's and I saw Lazenby's for the first time. I kind of thought they were like parodies or like jokes. I was like, this is a joke, right? This isn't like, where's Connery? Like I was so attached to him as James Bond. That was the person I view. When I think of James Bond, I view Sean Connery as James Bond. Rest in peace. We love you, Sean Connery. And that's what I mean. Like he's just so iconic in that role. He really did set the formula and the template for all the Bond actors after that. And I think, man, he's just, he is so suave. He's so debonair. Like, you know, he just fits the character very well. He's a brawler. You know, he's smart, but he's got that misogynistic thing that he's going with. Like, but it's like just perfect. Like Sean Connery really did nail all those things for me. And yes, some of his films might not be as strong as like Daniel Craig's or some of the other actors' films. And they're very dated in terms of graphics, but I think Sean Connery, like I said, he's just too iconic for me. And he really did, like I said, lay down the template. And every time I picture Bond, I always picture Sean Connery in my head. Like, I would have loved to see him get some of the other storylines that the other Bonds got later in the, in the other films. It would have been cool to see Connery in that role. Even the off brand one that's not considered a Bond film, Never Say Never Again, which is kind of a retread of Thunderball. I still enjoy that movie too. Like no matter what, I think Sean Connery is the best in my opinion. He's the top dog. But this is just my list, of course. I would love to hear from all of you. Who are your favorite Bond actors? You know, how do you rank them? Where do they fall? Like I said, which is your favorite era? All that kind of stuff. I would love to hear from all of you. Share in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe and like because it definitely helps out the channel. Have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.